Hello YouTube. Today I just wanted to take a minute to give some brief updates about Danette's kitchen. Sometimes I get responses from some viewers that say, why can't you make it more exciting or fun or have things popping out at me or whatever. And that's really not why I'm here. And sure, I could do those things. Those things are entertaining enough. So I could do those things, but like I said, that's really not why I'm here. I'm really here to talk about food. I'm t here to talk about lifestyle changes and changes in life. And how what we put in our bodies makes a difference to us. What we put in our bodies makes a difference to our health, even our ability to comprehend things, like blueberries. One of the things that helps fight against Alzheimer's, blueberries. Who would have thought? You know, so when I'm on here and I'm sharing this information, I'm sharing it to help you, not to hinder you, not to entertain you. And I apologize to those people who consider it as boring, but I'm just trying to keep it real. I'm just trying to share some things to help. Because as we age, our bodies change. Sometimes our physical condition, our health changes. Sometimes that means we have to change the way we eat. Well, how we drink what kind of food we have. I mean, when we're kids, we can eat all the processed food that we want and it's probably not going to make that great of a deal to us. But as you get older and your body has taken in so much processed food, it does have an impact on your overall. It really does. So, I'm here to share what I've learned from doctors, from nutritionists, from my own changes in my own life. I think it's a pretty big deal to go from a place of being so healthy that your doctors think that you're going to die any minute, to having your doctor come back and, and say, what did you do over this past year? I've monitored your process and your progress, and you've done a complete turnaround. And just as I was able to do that complete turnaround, I just want to share that with you. For those who care, for those who may need that turnaround, for those who may need to be able to get out of bed without as many aches and pains or walk up a flight of stairs without as many aches or pains. To be able to eat things that are nutritionally good for your body, not just something to put in your mouth. To not emotionally eat because of the negativity that's brought into your life by people who are just a bunch of naysayers. But to learn how to deal with that and rise like the cream to the top. I think we're all capable of that. I don't know how many people really are interested in doing that. But I ask you to share this journey with me. I ask you to try some of these things that I'm showing you. I mean, and even if you have to pause the video to go put things together so that you can prepare a meal with me or prepare a dessert with me or do an exercise with me. Or if you want to take notes, feel free to do that too. Because when I say treat yourself, don't cheat yourself, it's just not some tongue-in-cheek phrase that I say just because I don't have anything better to do. 
We overwork ourselves. We stress ourselves. We go through so much every day. And there are times when we need to treat ourselves good, which means being good to our body, which means being good inside and out to ourselves. Don't limit yourselves or your ability. If you question anything that you see here, you can Google it. Talk to your doctor. In fact, I encourage you to. But try to make that positive change for yourself today. Will you join me on this journey? If so, I'd appreciate a like. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please feel free to hit the subscribe button down below. And share. Share this video with someone else who may really need it. It may be a friend, it may be a family member, somebody you know who needs a little extra encouragement. Somebody that you know that may need some help learning how to cook or prepare meals, may not even know how to boil water. Consider sharing the video. Consider trying some new things for yourself. And I do try to make things quick, easy, and delicious because a lot of times we are in a rush because a lot of people are overworked and those that aren't overworked may be at a point in their life where they can't do things the way they once were able to do things. So we have to modify how we do things so that we can come up with the successful outcome. So I just wanted to leave those little breadcrumbs of thought for you today. And I do still plan on doing the flourless chocolate tort. I just haven't been to the market to get any eggs yet. Um, but I think we're going to enjoy it when we do it. So, please, join me on this journey. And share with a few friends that they may have the opportunity to join. And if I... Share information about a food recall. I'm not trying to be a fear monger. I'm keeping it real. If I'm sharing that information, it's because I've looked it up on the FDA website or another food-based security website because food security is very important. So I share this information for all of our well-being. So, until next time, peace be unto you.